Hello YouTube. I'm going to take pictures of my garden as I record this because I'd rather do that than take pictures of me. Huh. Um, the reason I'm posting today is a reason that seems has hit a couple at least of other people in the last day or two. And um, to just come straight out and say it, I see it seems to me that we have some major earth changes coming and they may be coming more quickly than um, people might have anticipated even those who are have been into this kind of thing far longer than me um, what got me to this and my total picture of it will unfold as I talk I hope it's not too disjointed and too rambly, but you have to bear with me. Part of the reason I'm making this post is that um, everything is not really solidified in my brain yet, and I guess I'm hoping that together we can all maybe help each other understand more than we can understand by ourselves. All or most of the people and topics that I talk about will have links. If for some reason there isn't a link for something, um, feel free to ask me for it. I'm not trying to just pull stuff out of my hat. I'm trying to work only with things that um, have something to back it up. Um, I want to back up a little bit. And, you know, what first got me concerned about this, of course, like most people, were all of the earthquakes um, that were happening that were rather disconcerting. And then I stumbled across the, uh, I guess it's Natural Emergency website, I forget the name of it, but it's the one that shows man-made and environmental um, emergencies that are happening around the globe. And once I discovered that, I would look at it from time to time and you know see all the different things that are going on. And I hadn't looked at it in a while till a YouTube friend mentioned something that was going on somewhere. So I went on to look at it. And when I did, I noticed all these, uh, they have little icons for each type of event. And there were little volcanoes all over the globe. And I know they hadn't been there the week before because I had been on the week before. Although it had been a week since I, uh, more or less a week in between. So I went, whoa, you know, this isn't just... Iceland, there, there are, are volcanoes all over, and they only have an icon on the map if it's an active eruption. Now, granted, some of these probably aren't major, but especially with the one going on in Iceland, you would think that people might be talking about others that are going on, but they're not. So anyway, that kind of surprised me. And then... Um, that this picture started to formulate in my mind at that time of sort of the whole big picture of information I had up till then and then I couldn't sleep this morning so about 3.30 I got up and I watched the monograph his latest video which I have linked here and um, he talks about the oil and the shaman or whatever the guy is who said that oil was, I forget how he put it, but that was going to be our demise or something or what would do us in. And I got to thinking about that and then I looked at the link he sent me to of um, Believers Underground and I watched a couple of his things and, you know, it all made it click together for me. I'd been thinking for a while and here's where I guess I really need my tinfoil hat because so far we can't dispute what's happening as far as, yes, there are volcanoes and earthquakes. But where the tinfoil hat comes in is um, a while back I watched, um, and I have it linked here also, the uh, um, global warming, what the government isn't telling you, I think it's John Moore. And that was, you know, a month or two ago, maybe a little longer, I'd watch those. And he talked about basically the only place that would be on dry enough land in the U.S. would be the Ozarks area up 
you know, north central area. And then the, yesterday or the day before, I was watching the latest video about unemployment by Latoya, and I have that linked also. And it's one that I watch every month when she puts out. And I was watching the latest one go along of the unemployment, and all of a sudden, at the end of the video, it just shot through me like a rocket that the only place that doesn't seem to have rampant unemployment is the same area that supposedly is going to be okay should this water rise or whatever happens comes. And I just thought that was kind of odd because is that, you know, for some reason the only place people are being employed, as in they haven't been fired because they're doing some kind of work for someone. And then you throw in people saying that the Queen of England is buying land in Denver. Throw all the dumbs into it. You throw the Denver airport and all their underground stuff into it. And it just seems like, you know, all this money that's been siphoned off going into somebody's pocket. I mean, wouldn't it make sense that they have siphoned that money off to build these fantastic underground facilities that may not save them from what's coming, but it might really help to try to save them. They might have a chance at least. Um, so you see that my thoughts are sort of rambling and not completely formed, but the whole picture to me it's not pretty. Um, just adding in some of the things that are going on right now, we have um, floods in Tennessee, severe lightning storms. We have tornadoes in Arkansas. We have the oil rig, of course. And, you know, I'm not convinced that that oil rig and others haven't blown because of pressure with all these volcanoes and whatever all is going on earthquakes of course in England there's a fish kill um, I'm trying to see what else in my notes here anyway there are many catastrophes going on and that website certainly will show you more than you want to see but I guess the big picture is more what I'm concerned about do they know they the powers that be know better than us that something's coming and maybe more quickly than anyone anticipated. Oh, one more thing to throw in. I don't know if you guys have heard, but there was something about a while ago about all the CEOs and uh, sheriffs that have resigned from their company companies or police um, stations or whatever you call them. And, uh, you know, it, it's just like one thing by itself is nothing. But when you start to put them all together and you start to get kind of a bigger picture, it seems all of a sudden like all the puzzle pieces are fitting in. And I'm not trying to tell anyone this to create fear. I don't think we need to be afraid. Um, think of it as evolution. I'm not saying we're all going to make it, but some of us will. And um, I'm real curious on your thoughts, how other people might be feeling about this, um, and be able to add to it, or hopefully tell me I'm a nut and why I'm a nut, because <laughs> that would be better than, uh, that would be better. I know I'm forgetting a link. Oh, I know, there was a guy, and his name should be in my notes here somewhere. I will have him in the links. But he was talking about um, evolution and population, and there's a graph in there. I have the time of the in the video that shows the graph of um, our population. Anyway, I'm not making any sense anymore, so I'm going to stop this video. But I would love to hear everyone's thoughts. Take good care, everyone.